Hi guys, welcome back to Taylor. It's time for another Theory Quickie. Here's a question from the FAA database. What is the correct sequence for recovery from the unusual attitude indicated? A. Level the wings, raise the nose to level flight attitude, and obtain the desired airspeed. B. Reduce power, level the wings, and bring the attitude to level flight. Or C. Reduce the power, increase back elevator pressure, and level the wings. So here's a situation that matches the figure that we're given in the question. We have an attitude indicator which indicates a low nose attitude and a bank to the right. We have a high indicated airspeed, a negative vertical speed and an altimeter that's winding down, all supporting the low nose attitude indication. We have a right turn registered on the turn coordinator and numbers increasing on the direction indicator, all supporting the right bank indication. As all the instruments agree with each other, there's no reason to suspect that any of the instruments are faulty. And this would be how it would look outside the window if the weather was good. The airspeed is approaching structural limitations. We therefore have to prevent aircraft damage by preventing any further increase in the airspeed by reducing the throttle to idle. Attempting to pitch the aircraft at this bank angle and airspeed would likely exceed loading limitations. We must therefore level the wings first. Once the wings are level, we can arrest the descent by pitching up to the level flight attitude. Once the airspeed has come back to a normal cruise airspeed, we can then reset cruise power and resume safe flight. So the answer to the question what is the correct sequence for recovery from the unusual attitude indicated is B. Reduce the power, level the wings, and bring the pitch attitude to level flight. 